Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. In today's video, we will see 60 million ice fish nets, mysterious holes, and bleeding glaciers. But let's start our video from the largest dinosaur egg ever found. Researchers in Antarctica found the largest dinosaur egg in history. It was found by the scientific team of the University of Chile and the University of Texas at Austin uncovered this large shell at Seymour Island in 2011. At that time, they were unaware of its significance and placed it in the Chilean National Museum. It dates back to about 66 million years ago, just before the dinosaurs became extinct. It looks like a squashed football, measuring over 11 inches long and 7 inches wide. It was speculated that the egg was probably laid by a giant marine reptile, such as a mosasaur. It was the soft eggshell of the dinosaur ever found. Bleeding Glacier Behold, as we are going to show you an exquisite sight in the whole Antarctica. Look at this bleeding Taylor Glacier. Antarctica's dry valleys are the aridest places on Earth, but underneath their icy soils lies a vast and ancient network of salty, liquid water. Before, it was thought that the color was due to the presence of red algae, but later was defied as it can't survive in these harsh climates. The icy outflow's striking color is caused by iron-rich brine that spews from the glacier's side that rapidly oxidizes after hitting the air. Whatever the reason is, it looks like somebody gutted out the mountain, and now it is seeping blood all over the icy white coat. Poopy Patterns The year was 2002, and it was December when all of the world was busy in the preparation of Christmas and New Year, when a satellite in NASA captured something strange in Antarctica. There appeared to be some weird patterns all over the continent, it really stirred up the whole station. Everybody had their own theory of what it was. It was speculated that the markings were linked to the local wildlife of the region, but everybody kind of forgot that the place has a large population of emperor penguins. So later, the mystery was solved, and the result concluded that those markings were of the poop stains of these penguins. Just imagine how much they've pooped that the patterns were even visible from space. Meteorite Meteorites are no stranger to the land of Antarctica. The place is literally the home to landings of many of these large rocks. For those who don't know about meteorites, it is a solid piece of debris from an object such as a comet, an asteroid, or meteorite that originates from outer space and reaches the surface of a planet or a moon after a long passage. This one was found in 2007 in eastern Antarctica on Queen Maud Land. The recovered weight was 188.6 grams. The stony meteorite consisted of two fragments found about 50 meters apart. The individual pieces are covered by a dull black fusion crust and have dark brown weathered natural broken surfaces that match perfectly. The dark gray interior is metal rich and exhibits numerous well-defined chondrules. Well, whatever properties it has, it looks cool, right? Headless Chicken Monster Want to see a monster roaming the waters of Antarctica? Well, it's not a monster per se, but due to its unusual appearance, scientists have named this deep sea cucumber a headless chicken monster. Now you may be wondering, what does the marine creature do to get a name like this? Well, all the scientists have said is that they thought it reminded them of a decapitated chicken ready for roasting in the oven. It was sighted before only in the Gulf of Mexico and has beautiful pink see-through skin. Deep sea cucumbers can also produce bioluminescence. You can see its semi-transparent intestines, especially after an eating episode. Life found under the ice. Yes, yes, you heard it right. Scientists have found life beneath the Antarctic ice shelf that wasn't supposed to be there. The team of geologists drilled a hole with the help of boiling water through 656 feet of ice and were able to scoop 328 feet down. 
even in that dark, inhospitable environment, they were able to find fragments of living organisms. When they examined the samples under a microscope, they were able to identify 77 different species of organisms with the help of biologists. Many of the species identified were biozoans, or stationary filter feeders, and tube-feeding worms, among others. Carbon dating of dead fragments of the seafloor animals varied from current to 5,800 years old. So, despite living three to nine kilometers from the nearest open water, an oasis of life may have existed continuously for nearly 6,000 years under the ice shelf. Shackleton's Lost Ship An expedition has found the lost ship of Ernest Shackleton, an Anglo-Irish explorer, after 102 years. The sunken ship's skeleton was found in March of 2022 off the coast of Antarctica. At the beginning of World War I in 1914, Shackleton set out to Antarctica. The plan was for Shackleton to take 27 men on two ships, the Endurance and the Aurora. But in January 1915, the Endurance became trapped in ice off the coast of Antarctica. The men lived on the ship for months, but pressure from the ice slowly began to crush it. The Aurora also became trapped in ice. Three men from that voyage died before the final members of the crew were rescued in early 1917. It was found 10,000 feet below the surface of the water and was in the same position it was on the day it went down. 60 Million Nests in February 2021, a German research vessel went on an expedition into the Weddell Sea to study ocean currents in the Antarctic, but discovered a huge ice fish colony comprising 60 million live nests that covered 93 square miles in the Antarctic Ocean. They say it's a third of the size of the whole of London. Well, that's a rather unconventional comparison. But man, I didn't say it, the scientists did. Each nest had about 1,700 eggs, and most were guarded by an adult ice fish. The nests were between 1,300 to 1,700 feet below the surface in the ocean's twilight zone. It is believed that it is the largest continuous fish breeding colony ever discovered. Glass sponges. Glass sponges are marine creatures that live at the depth of 1,480 to 2,950 feet below the surface of the water. Glass sponges are the architects of the most diverse community on the seafloor under ice shelves. Like corals, glass sponges provide habitat for many other organisms. Most grow only two centimeters each year, which makes the largest ones hundreds of years old. Normally, they grow at a slow pace around the world, but something strange is in the Antarctic waters, as the glass spores found there are growing at a rapid pace. The speculated reason behind this is the warm climate that is melting the glaciers, thus helping them conserve heat and energy. Giant Sea Spiders Everything in Antarctica has a frill of little dramatism, right? Look at this sea spider, for instance. Antarctica has a giant version of them. This is a prime example of gigantism, wherein an animal grows unusually large due to a lack of predators and other factors that normally would limit its size. The Antarctic sea spider can grow to more than 30 centimeters in diameter as compared to the European sea spider, which is just a few centimeters long. This is due to their limited breathing capacity in the small size. The predator uses its abnormally large legs to suck the insides out of worms, jellyfish, sponges, and other soft-bodied prey. Well, that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching the video till the end. See you next time.